What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff with iDownload Blog. Let's talk about shared photo streams. Notice this notification from Chris, who writes for IDB as well. This is a shared photo stream invitation from him and I can either accept or decline the invitation. It tells you who it is, what album they wanna share with you, and you have the option to accept or decline. So I've accepted the share there and you can see all of the photos coming in right now. Just like that. So all these photos just stream right in as soon as you accept the share. And they come in pretty quickly as you can see. They come in as black squares at first and then they actually load the photos themselves. It tells you how many new photos you have. I think this is 22 different photos here. As you can see there, they're just loading right in. Nice pictures by the way, Chris. Now you also notice a little message icon on some of the photos and those tell you if a photo has a particular message or not. Um, you can actually add a new message by tapping the little message indicator on the right hand side like this. Just tap that little button, the plus sign, and then you can add a comment, you can like the photo. Just tap the little like smiley face there and you'll like the photo. And adding a comment is the same way. You just tap add comment and type in whatever you wanna say about the particular photo in question. So in this case, I'll type awesome because that photo is pretty, pretty nice. So you can kind of get a gist of the social aspect of the photo stream sharing. It's sort of Facebook-ish. In fact, I just like this photo right here. Watch what happens. I'll actually get a notification when he replies to my message here. So he just replied. All I have to do is open that, that photo and you can see his reply there with the timestamp as well. So those are some of the social aspects of photo stream sharing. Now, what happens when someone adds or removes a photo from their share? Watch what happens. He's gonna remove this photo right here and watch how it dynamically updates, just like that. So whenever someone wants to remove a photo from their shared photo stream, it removes it pretty much instantaneously from those that they are sharing with. And adding a photo is basically the same principle. Notice this new photo just appeared because he added this to his shared photo stream. It's a fairly seamless experience. Let's look at it again. He's gonna add another photo. There it is, just like that. So it's very quick, painless, and effortless to either add or remove photos from a shared photo stream session. So you can feel fairly confident that your photos will be able to be added or removed at your will. Now, what about when you receive a new photo or a comment or something like that? Are there notifications? Well, yes, they are. As you can see there, new photo was added to the photo stream and I could just tap on the notification or I can open the app and you can see there's also a little badge on the app as well. So I'll just swipe over and there is the new photo that was shared. Now say you wanna be the one sharing the photos. What do you do? Well, you just open the Photos app, tap the Photo Stream tab, and then hit the little plus sign in the upper left-hand corner. This will allow you to create a new album, which you can name and you can submit this or send it to any of your friends or family via their email address. And that'll create a new album, which you can add photos to. Now here is a photo album that I've already created. I can edit this, I can add people. Notice I'm gonna add Chris right now, gmail.com. And once you have addressed all the ones that you want to invite to your shared photo stream, you just go ahead and tap on the add button and that'll add those people to the shared photo stream request. And then they'll get an invite and that's pretty much it. You can of course remove a subscriber, resend the sharing information, or you can add that contact if you don't already have them in your contact list. So as you can see, all this is pretty straightforward and seamless. If you've used iOS before, then no doubt you'll be able to figure this out really quickly. It's super easy to use. Shared photo streams are a really big deal in my opinion. It's gonna allow a lot more social elements directly from iOS. You won't have to worry about having a third party app or anything like that. You'll be able to easily share your photos with your friends and family directly from the Photos app, which is really, really nice. So how do you enable shared photo streams? Well, just go to your settings app. There's actually two spots where you can do so here. If you go to, where is iCloud? There's iCloud. Tap on iCloud and then go to photo stream and then you have shared photo streams. Of course, that differs from your normal My Photo Stream, which is just for you personally and your iOS devices. So you can enable it there. And then you can also go to your photos and cameras settings panel right there. And there you go, you have shared photo streams there as well. So let me know what you guys think about shared photo stream in the comment section below. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Will you be using this in iOS 6? Let me know what you think. This is Jeff.
with iDownload Blog.